What is up guys, this is Air back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you could do how you could put any launcher like any launcher and put it as your default launcher on the Amazon Fire tablet. 5th generation. So the first thing you want to do is going to you're just going to want to go to any browser that you have on Amazon Fire tablets it might it might be Silk browser for for you guys. So once you're on Silk Browser, Silk Browser, that was for my other video. Oh yeah, and there's going to be two videos at once. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this look like um, an iPhone, even though it's like really an, um, an Amazon Fire tablet. I cannot do it on my other phone because I don't want to waste the storage on it like yet. I still haven't used it, used it. Uh, and I might use it tomorrow, so yeah. But so the first thing you're gonna want to do is when you got in the browser, you're going to want to look up launch yeah, launcher hijack. This is important. Version three. Because the version three is what lets you put any launcher. Now let it load. Now once it's done, all you're going to want to click the first one right there. I already have the app installed, so everything is going to be good. But there's one important step you have to do also. So you're going to want to scroll down. Then it will say, look. So it, it says, uh, shows a reminder. Remember to enable access accessibility service. So then you're going to want to go, so if you don't, once you're done with the app, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So you're just going to click find the latest release, click that link right there, wait for it to load, and I'll be right back while the screen loads. So this is probably this other screen loading, I don't know, probably some ad. Okay, it's just, okay. So you're just going to want to wait for it to load. Just make sure you have um, unknown resources, unknown sources on from your settings. Then you're going to click version 3, launcher, hijack version 3 APK, click OK. Now, I already have it installed, but for you guys, click open, install it, and then when you're done, you're going to want to go in the app. No, guys, my bad. Do not go in the app. Go to your settings. Now, this is important. Important. So, when you're on your settings, you're going to want to go to... Oh my god, slow, slow. Accessibility. Then, if you have the app installed, it will say to detect home button press and turn that on. Now, click your home button. And then you're going to want to install, install any launcher. Like any launcher that you want to install. So in this case, yeah, whatever. Now, you see, since I have no launchers installed, they won't show any launcher. But download any launcher that you want. You, it, Guys, this is the important part. You could do any launcher you want. Any launcher. On some of the other videos that you may have searched on how to do a default launcher, this one shows you how to do a default default launcher like any launcher so yeah so you could download download any launcher that you want and I'm about to show you some proof right now so I'm gonna download the Nova launcher no a different launcher so any launcher and I'll be right back while it's downloaded so in this case guys I said that I'll be teaching how to make your iPhone or whatever you're using look like an iPhone so this, this is how you're gonna do it so I'll be right back while I get the link I have it in my notepad I just don't feel like copying it so I'll be right back while I get the link the link will be in the description for the iPhone launcher and be right back so guys I have the link and so you're just you're gonna have to download app type for this so when you're on the link you're just going to click download and make sure that it is this one this one now the icons are not going to look exactly like the iphone one, but we're going to make it look like it so you're going to click install 
Yeah, just click install. And then it might bring me to Aptide to download it. Pretty sure it is. Oh no. It didn't. Okay. So it is going to bring me straight to the here. Since I have Aptide installed, so install Aptide. This is just going to be nothing. It's it's if you already don't have Aptide then it won't install like that. But I'll be right back. But Aptide is done. Loading. Now, it redirected me. Make sure it is the exact one. So just click OK. Click Proceed. It will start downloading. Yeah, I'm in the worst place to record right now. My Sala. Far away from the internet. That's why I only have two bars. Bars, whatever. One, one, one bar. No. Yeah. Okay. Now click install. And I'll be right back while it is which, while it is done installing. Yeah, guys. Reminder. Remember that we're also doing this so I can show you how to enable a default launcher on the Amazon Fire fifth generation. So, guys, now that it is done installing, you wanna you're gonna wanna click on launcher hijack. You're going to select the launcher, then it's going to say set launcher, click OK, let it load. Now, you could either press the home button or the button that is pressed, and then it will bring you to the default launcher. Now, it is going to be set as your default launcher. And there. But some of you might think that is re that it is redirecting me to the app. It show you some proof. Okay, so I'm gonna press the home button again. Then it is gonna still stay here. It will do that one time, but then it will go back to the app again. So you see, it is only so it doesn't have the camera icon. But we're gonna make it look like it. So we're gonna. So I'm about to download some photos off the internet. Wait, no, I don't. But that's might as well. So no, I'm not. I may. I might. It's messed up so far. All right, I'll be right back. Wait. So this is how you set any default launcher for the Amazon Fire fifth generation. Hope you enjoyed. The video's not over yet. We're still doing the iPhone launcher, so I'll be right back while I figure out what I have to do right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just put our browser right there. It's the home button again. And then we're just going to then hold it. Then you could change the icon, change the title, set the app as whatever so in this case we're just going to be changing the title <laughs> it's tricky and then we're going to be naming it oops safari you see now it is named safari i like to click that the square button first and then the home button to make it less laggier so now so now that you named the safari you're going to click on it again change the icon no my bad my bad no then you're going to click set this app as you could do this the easier way. Then you could set it as the browser, which you already have the icon. But it is the fake icon, though. I'm pretty sure. But I don't know. Okay, so now you have Safari right there. You could also do this for the music player. So, music player. That's why we're going to name this music. Really, keyboard? music player you could do it with, at whichever way you want you could leave it like this if you feel like it do whatever you want now for the camera we could do the same thing camera and now there I think we could do the videos too can can we pretty sure 
Video player, good. Okay. Now we're just gonna name this video player. You could do this for any device. Well, if it works. But it, it like, there's a 99% chance that it will work for your device. Unless you have a cool pad. Like, I'm telling you guys, do not ever get a cool pad in your life. Never. Never. Alright, so now that you have done that, you could, okay. This, I'm gonna skip ahead while I do all of this. Like, the music and everything. So, I'll be right back while I'm done doing all of this. No, guys, I'm going to leave it like this because what if some of, probably some of you would want me to, like, just keep on doing it. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Set this up as gallery, gallery, gallery. Okay, good. What is this? Gmail, stop that. Okay, so good so far. That is good. Now, um. We could do that for the App Store, but no, because we already have it for the Google Play Store. So, ooh, what if there's email too? Sorry, guys, this is taking so long just for me to get to the point. No, guys, I'm pretty sure there is the email. There is the email. Good. Man. You might hear some music in the background because my brother is playing music all the way far. That's why I went far. Probably I get copyrighted. I still don't know copyrighted like fully well. But the calculator, you're going to want to do that too. So set this app as... No, you have to have calculator here. Okay, calculator's not here. Alright, let's just get straight to the point. So... Now we want to make it look like we're going to put all the apps in order just like an iPhone. We're going to get the wallpaper, so now that you did this, just <clears throat> click on your fake Safari, bringing you to your real browser. Then I'll be right back while look. I'm just doing the order of what I know how to make your phone, how to make your phone look like an iPhone, but I'm just going to do this in like, whichever, whichever comes to my head first. So, now you're going to want to look up iPhone 7. That's an iPhone. <laughs> um, I made a dumb mistake. Um, yeah. But Google is probably smart enough. This is Bing. I'll change that later. So click on images and then it will show the order how it's supposed to be. Yeah. I need to let this page load. First, be right back while it's less blurry. Okay, guys, it was my mistake. So now you're going to want to scroll down until you see a picture of um, the iPhone home screen, which I just found on right here. Doesn't matter, plus, whatever. I think it does matter. Because we don't have the plus. This is not the plus version. No, I'm stupid! It was the it was the iPhone six. My bad. All along it was the iPhone six order. Okay, so it's, we're gonna show the iPhone six home screen. So just click on any image. I'll be. Now we're gonna try to put it in the order that it is in. So I'm just gonna download this image real quick so I can remember it. Not going back and forth, back and forth in the browser. So just gonna hold it, download image. Good. So just gonna click open. Now we're gonna click open with <laughs> Pixel App is faster. Like if I click in the prime photos, it will take like like a minute to load, but with Pixel Lab I think it will like take faster time. So I go back and forth, back and forth with it. Okay, so I saw the order. It was messages. We don't have messages on an Amazon Fire tablet. 
So I saw it. It was um, messages, then calendar. All right. So we're going to put them in the correct order. Can we put a picture as a widget? That would be more perfect. All right. So we're just going to put this right there. Oops, no. So calendar goes first. Right here. Now what's next? Oh! I could just see it right here. Okay, so it was calendar, gallery. Calendar. This is, this is supposed to be named photos, okay? It was calendar. Now photos. Camera. Gonna get our camera. Gonna put it right here. Now, for some of you on the phone, it may look like really different. So, the weather. Where's my weather app? Weather, weather, weather. Do I even have a weather app? Everything is supposed to have a weather. So, the weather is after here. But it's gonna set this app as weather. So after weather, it is clock. Clock is right here. Such a good thing. Um, maps, maps, maps. Yeah, I swear, if I do not have this. I do not have it. Now I have Google Maps. Okay, guys, so let's just pretend that this is messages right here. The preferences. Oh, it has that too. Okay, so let's just pretend. Now, we're just gonna be pretending that um um um. Pretend that this is maps. Let's pretend that this is maps right here. So we're gonna pretend that this is maps. Don't take this serious, guys. I just do not have maps. Okay. This was supposed to be named videos, so we're just gonna put this. In order, right there. Next is the notes. No notes. But we could put the documents as notes. Um, then it was notes. We're just going to put it to notes. But just for me to remember, I'm just going to put it as docs. Okay, so next it was then that. I just saw that. Okay, so next I'm just going to put the help, which I'm never going to need. Um, I think I remember it. Reminders. Okay, it was reminders. <laughs> just like I said, I needed, I needed to be reminded about. <laughs> okay, we're going to name this reminders. Remind it goes perfect with the with the help. Okay, next it was then um stocks. Stock. So we're just gonna put the photo importer as stocks. I'm sorry it is taking so long guys. You can just skip ahead and do this all by yourself. If you want to. Stocks. The game center. Okay, game center. I'm going to put that as the Kindle store, which I'll never use. Game Center. Game Center. Now name it like that. It's a Game Center. Then it is those three little images right there, which I don't know which they are, what they are, whatever they are. Now the newsstand, I I do not know what that photo was. Set this up as... It probably doesn't have it here. It's three little images. It might be here, but I'm blind. So it's not there. So we're just going to skip that. 
but we're just gonna put this as that, whatever that was. This is a good way to trick your friends. Now iTunes. Hopefully, no, it does not show the iTunes thing. So since this does not show the iTunes thing, we're just gonna put our music player right here. The App Store. I know the App Store, okay. App Store is here. Now it is the three little book bookies. There are no three little bookies. We're just gonna pretend that this. Oh wait, T this will go perfect. Books, bookies. All right, so that goes here. We're almost done. Whatever that is, and then it's the settings. Wait, contacts, contacts. But then also on the bottom, it would be, oh my god. On the bottom, it would be the music, like right here. No, no. Music goes right here. The mail will go right here. Then the phone. We're just going to put this as the phone, right there. Perfect. Now the next step is iNoti. So just go to Aptide. Now when you're on Aptide, you're going to look up iNoti. Oops. So download the first one. I'm not going to download it because I don't want this thing to lag. But download it, open it, do the steps, and then boom. So yeah. And then when you're done with that, we're going to do the control center. So then you're just going to look up. On the Google Play Store, you can do this too. But control center. And then you're going to see Control Center, Control OS 11 right there. You're going to install it, leave it like that, and then it will work. So that is how you make your thing, phone or whatever you have look like an iPhone 6. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and peace out.